guys and welcome back to my new vlog. I'm literally starting this vlog so late in the day. The time is, okay, I don't know when my phone's gone. Um, I think it's like half three. So yeah, starting this vlog very late on. Um, but yeah, it's a gorgeous sunny day today and I've got a few like little things planned. Might not vlog too much today, but yeah, I just wanted to vlog it because it's gonna be a nice rest of the day. Yeah, my boyfriend Jordan has had some, well, fingers crossed, has had some really good news today. Um, so I have got him some little bits. So I just went to Lidl while he was out and I got him some Prosecco, give him a little card, um, got him some sweets, some olives, we absolutely love olives, we eat them all the time. And I'm gonna make some mojitos, so I got some white rum as well. So yeah, I've got a few little bits for him and I'm just gonna go sit outside, wait for him to come back and um, just chill really. It's such a lovely sunny day. I think it's supposed to be the hottest day of the year. So yeah, I really need me to make most of it and get a tan. Okay, so also um, I bought the other day these delicious things um, from the Coconut Collaborative. The Coconut Collaborative Little Chalk Pots and they're only 100 calories per pot and they're so bloody good. I usually don't think vegan chocolate tastes that amazing, but this is next level amazing. Like it actually tastes like the most delicious um, chocolate ever and it's plant-based. So yeah, I'm gonna have one of these in a bit, I think, because they're so cute and the packaging is adorable. Um, so yeah, definitely go try these. I got these from Tesco the other day and they are actually so, so yummy. There's some sun gray on it outside with a vitamin C fizzy one. These taste so yummy. I'm not gonna vlog too much out here just because our little patch of grass is open to all the neighbours to see. So yeah, definitely gonna get judged. Um, but I'm just gonna chill out here, wait for Jordan to get back. And I think I'm gonna listen to the girls' bathroom podcast because I've been very much enjoying that recently. So I'm gonna make some tacos. I'm not gonna make them all now. I'm just gonna start the first bits, like cut up some tomatoes, some veg, and um, put the beans in the pan because I'm gonna do like a veggie one. Um, just so it's ready to go when we actually want it while Jordan is driving back. So I'm very, very excited for this. I've uh, got sour cream because I absolutely adore sour cream. It's so tasty. And yeah, I'm gonna make some tacos. tomatoes and lettuce just to make them really fresh and yummy and then I've mixed together it looks obviously a bit like sick right now but it does taste so good I've mixed together kidney beans and then just a selection of like other beans that you get in a can from Lidl um and then in with that I've mixed the spice and a lot of sour cream just to because I found that, that I tried it before I put in the sour cream and I found that, that it's quite salty so yeah I added some sour cream just to like bring that down a little bit and um, then I've got the tacos I've got salsa and of course I'm gonna add so much cheese so yeah this is gonna be a nice little celebratory meal for Jordan and I'm very very excited I've not had tacos all year I don't think which is just crazy and um, these are the sweet paprika and garlic ones that I got from Lidl I think so today I've been trying to get a bit of Instagram content so yeah basically I took the mirror outside because I know that those kind of mirror pictures outside are doing quite well at the moment it's good like it's nice to like get nature into fashion pics so um, I took the mirror outside and got a, a few cute ones of my new shorts and my Zara top there's a haul coming that will have gone out before this actually um, so I basically edited all of those and someone's asked me how I edit my photos but I've actually already put out a um how I edit my Instagram photos video. So I'll try and link that down below. But I just use Lightroom and I copy and paste one of the presets and just alter it a bit onto my pictures. So yeah, I've been doing that for the past like half an hour. Sat outside and um, just trying to get a bit of content, you know, keep the Instagram fresh. Oh, and I just hit 12K today, which I'm so excited about. Um, I did a really, really long Instagram live with Charlotte this morning. So if you wanna go watch that, it's all about post-grad and uni questions, go to my IGTV and it'll be up there for you um and yeah i hit 12k after that which i'm so happy about i'm hoping that because often when i hit big numbers it goes down again overnight but yeah i'm really happy i hit 12k um and yeah thank you if you followed me on instagram i very much appreciate it because instagram is like my favorite platform i just love being creative on it and like taking pictures i've literally loved taking pictures since i was like so young um so yeah i was always bound to be an instagram hoe um <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna carry on making these delicious tacos and then hopefully we're going to make some mojitos as well which will be lovely
Yeah, I'm so just having a Prosecco in the sun. The sun is still out, it's actually gorgeous out here. It's so hot. Um, yeah, it's Wednesday today. I think it's the hottest day of the year. Well, it said on this morning that it was, but yeah. Having a lovely Prosecco. The tacos were so yummy. We're just gonna chill in the sun, make the most of it. Yeah, enjoy. I don't It is a couple of days later since I've actually spoke to you. Today we did um, a food shop for Jordan's mum and dad's. We had some yummy mac and cheese for lunch um, and just been chilling really. I was literally yesterday, I just sat in the sun and drank wine all day. Um, so yeah, this morning my head was feeling a little bit rough, you know. But yeah, I don't have a whole lot to update you on. Um, I've had like some positive news from work, which is really good. Still do not know when I'm going to be going back to London, but it's definitely, I feel a lot more positive about the situation right now. So um, yeah, I'm not too worried about um, the work side of things. I'll update you when I am going to go back to London, um, but I just don't think it will be for a while. Um, so obviously it's not ideal going back to work in an office so I think if I do start working at any point soon it will be from home um, and I'll probably stay up, no up north with my boyfriend for a little bit longer um, and then I can like see my mum a bit doing social distancing walks and stuff which will be so nice because it's so weird not seeing my mum much like we are just so used to like seeing each other all the time even when I'm in London like we always have long like weekends together and stuff so yeah it's been very weird not seeing her so I'm very excited. I think she might come over next week actually and we're going to do like a social distance walk around um, where I am at the moment and it'd be nice for her to see where my boyfriend lives and stuff because she's not seeing his place. I just got myself a little cup of tea with um, almond milk in it. I don't really drink dairy milk. I usually stick to almond or I really like um, oat milk. That is really, really good in coffee and tea if you don't like almond in tea, which I know a lot of people don't, but I really don't mind it at all. Um... But yeah, I'm just gonna chill today. I think I'm gonna make tacos again for dinner, but make them like some corn ones. Um, and I'm just gonna watch YouTube today, chill out. Um, also have some courses that I need to look into to do with work. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting. I would obviously update you guys if and when that goes ahead. But yeah, I need to look into some online courses. Um, and yeah, that's the plan for today. I will speak to you later if I have anything to update you on. But yeah, life is pretty same same right now um not a whole lot to report really <laughs> oh and if you guys are wondering where well, my earrings are from the little hearts got these from top shop i got these at uni um in third year so about a year ago maybe i got them so i don't know if top shop still sell them but i think a lot of websites do very similar ones so yeah that's where they're from I it is again another day obviously yesterday again i did not vlog anything because i had nothing to vlog <laughs> you like my outfit today oh god i've got really bad period paints today it's actually not even okay <laughs> um but yeah i've got on this little um zip top from misguided and then these are tesco leggings kind of looks cute kind of reminds me of um grace fitz tala wear but lot cheaper um and also i always try to get taller stuff but it's always sold out so yeah this is the next best thing um this morning i literally had the cutest delivery from trip um they do all these amazing drinks so i'm gonna try and get a few pickies with them um just to promote them because they're such a lovely company um they gifted me these and i first tried these in a cafe in london um and they sent me some out so i'm so excited they do cold brew coffee elderflower mint lightly sparkling and peach ginger this is the one that i tried before but i'm super um, intrigued to try the cold brew one and the packaging is just unreal I absolutely am obsessed so yeah thank you so much trip I'll uh, leave that Instagram and stuff down below got some little donuts here for a picture I'm just gonna try and get some feed filler pictures that kind of thing um I'm not feeling great today so I don't really want to put my face um on the camera properly on my instagram so yeah i'm gonna get some cute little pics so i just i've been seeing a few posts on instagram recently that have been saying like it's okay to say no and like it's okay to not do a zoom call it's okay not to do facetime and that really like resonated with me right now like i just i feel like my phone is always so readily available at the moment like I, 
people probably don't expect me to reply straight away but I think because I do socials and stuff I'm just on my phone all the time and I'm just getting a bit sick of it like I don't always want to be like on my phone and um but I think that's just I think I'm just feeling a little hormonal the last few days so yesterday I just didn't kind of go on my phone too much because I just didn't want to have to just post loads of stories and stuff I just wanted a bit of a break because I think working on social media can sometimes just be a bit like all consuming and overwhelming so yeah if any of you guys like do influencing as well just remember to take time for yourself and don't feel like you always need to post um because it is like it is like a constant job that you have to keep up with like constantly trying to get content so it keeps algorithm going on instagram is really like it's quite a lot sometimes and you know people are probably like People who don't really understand influencing, I think, are like, well, you don't have to. But if you want to do well in social media, you have to post all the time because that's just how Instagram works um, and catches people out. So, yeah, it's quite a lot to get content all the time. So, but yeah, I'm just, yesterday I took a bit of a break. I don't think I'm going to be on socials too much the next few days, trying to put my phone away for a little bit. I'd be afraid, I think, at the moment, to just take time for yourself. You don't have to say yes to everything. You don't have to do that Zoom call. You, you know, you don't have to be social. Because I think this is such a weird time. Like, it's fine to feel a bit, like, just overwhelmed and all of that. But, yeah. Just like I have a little hot heart there about how I'm feeling today. Um, yeah, I'm just a bit sleepy, a bit tired, a bit in pain, a bit grumpy. <laughs> My little setup, I need to get some cute little pictures. Um, these have literally gone off, you know? Um, but I'm just keeping them for the picture because I am a vain bitch. 